so cute. Just the way he's looking at us. Let's just get Craig in the best spot for the first spotted creature. How's that for you, Craig? And you can see how good that a leopard's camouflage is. And he's just lying <laughs> beneath that little pushed over tree. Maybe that was his umbrella for the night. And there is little Tumba. So Tundi and Tumba have a Steenbork kill here. Hello, good looking. Oh, I can hear Tundi crunching bones. Tumba looks to be quite playful this morning. Yes. I just need to let the other person who's coming to look for them know. Ari, Ari. Uh, they're still in the same position. Look at that. Tumba, what are you doing with that branch? I'm just going to try and move around a little bit more, see if we can get a view of Tandy. Well, remember, hashtag Safari Live if you've got any questions. And uh, isn't this a wonderful way to start the morning, especially after it's going to be set or book after the rain and quite difficult to track. But fortunately, a little birdie on the radio told me that Tandy had made a kill. Hello, Tandy. Now you can see the rain roofs on. Probably not going to need them, but better to err on the side of caution. I don't think there's much left. It was quite a small steenbok, apparently. So we're lucky she's still here. I think she's probably crunching through the last of that little steenbokie. Is that, is that yes looks like just the hoof not much left at all now on a small antelope like a steenbok uh, she's able to crack open the leg bones and get oh what has she heard and get to the marrow inside she doesn't look like she heard something they might you never know they might be a hyena who's arriving late to the party Hi, Lynn. Lynn's wondering what is the translation of their names? Tandi or Tande, Tandekile or any derivative that has Tandi in it means the one who is loved or the loved one. Oh, here comes Tamba. And Tamba means granite rocks. He was born in a little granite rock. Uh, a granite, uh, granite rock crevice is where he was born. So Tandy and Tumba, Tandy the loved one, and Tumba the rock, or the boulder. Charlie's wondering where are they in relation to where Hosanna and Shungile once were. Here he comes, Craig. He might get a, a snarl from his mom. They're, they're quite far away. They're a good two or three kilometers away. Look, 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 look at him. He's looking so mischievous this morning. Mom is going to give you a smack if you try to take that bone away from her. Look at him. You've got such a big belly and you still want more. seems to have inherited his mother's darker colouring. Oh, there he goes in the sneak around the tree. Are you going to get a smack, little man? Or hiss at least, yes. That little hiss and down he went. A 
Alicia, hi, good morning and welcome. Alicia would like to know what animal is considered, look at him, he's playing with himself, uh, a dangerous for a leopard. Well, the most dangerous thing for a leopard would probably be lions uh, and followed closely by wild dogs. <laughs> He's entertaining himself while mom is finishing off the last of the Steenbok. Keeping himself very entertained. Chrissy's wondering was Tumba the only cub in this litter or she lost any? Uh, there were two. There was a male and a female and she lost the female quite a long time ago. She's munching away. Now there's a very strong possibility once she's finished they might get up on the move. So we're definitely going to stick with them for, for the next little while. Now we were on our way to Cheetah Plains when we heard about this. So very, very exciting. I'm just going to move forward a skosh so we can see both their faces. How's that? A little bit more? Back? There we go. So there we go. Now we've got both of them. Oh, 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 oh. What did I hear there? Sounded like a male impala snorting that attracted Tumba's attention. Munch, 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 munch. I mean, she is literally making the most of it. There's almost zero left. Now, because it's such a small antelope, she has managed to crush that. It's just the hoof there. Now, sometimes female leopards or leopards will follow the hoof, swallow the hoof inadvertently but uh, she's trying to crunch all the marrow out of the bone now of course the hoof is one of the things that leopards can't digest it is a keratin hair so it just passes oh, no she dropped it good girl clever girl I'm trying to see if there is there a bit more of the carcass. Just yes, there is. There's actually quite a bit more just to the right of the little of the tree. You see where Tumba's tail is? Just zoom into the grass there. And down. Okay, no, she's just making the is that a it's a branch. It looked like a bit more of a carcass, but it is just a branch. Oh, there's Tumba coming closer to us with his big tummy. Oh, she, he's decided to stay, stop behind the pole. Uh, and he looks full of beans this morning, young Tumba. But as I said, he's going to lie down. I think they might get moving again, uh, especially if their carcass is finished. So while we stick here with Tundi and Tumba, let's go to James with his big grey beast. <laughs> 